Okay, <clears throat> something new today. I'm not sure how this is going to come out. Um, I just have an idea and I want to try it. So, you know. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to start off. I'm going to need my chalk pencil in here. Yeah. Sideways. I make painters and paint most of the sideways. So we'll see how that goes. Let's see how this does. Let's start off with um, uh, let's start off with just some raw umber. Put some of that on the palette. And then we'll add, we'll add more colors. Add more colors as we go. All right. Like I said, I'm gonna turn this sideways. I think you'll be able to see it better that way. I guess we'll find out. Okay. All right. I'm using a flat. We're just gonna. We're going to do this on a dry canvas, I think, to start with. We'll see how that goes. And all these white lines are going to turn into black lines. Hmm. Alright. So I've changed my mind already. Uh, let's see. I don't really want to do it that way. So let's just take. If I go ahead and wet the canvas and oil down the canvas, it's going to give my uh, all my white lines are going to be gone. And I guess I can just put them back. But let's see how this goes. Let's see how this works. Just add a little bit of linseed oil to this. Let's try it again.
I'm going to put some cerulean blue down. And we're going to kind of add some titanium white to that as we go. Let's do a, these are boards that we're putting in. I forget, I never did say that, did I? So let's now, yeah, let's begin to. This may look on the camera like it's um, yellow ochre. It's going down with this blue, but it's not. It's um, raw umber. We'll add some white to this area. Now. I like that a little bit. Let's add a black line to it now. Let's see if that starts looking kind of like we want it. I'm painting this line in. No, I'm probably going to paint over it. I just want to edge the door. Jam a little bit, crack a little bit. Just to kind of preserve the line. I have a good idea where the chalk line is going to go. I'm 
pretty happy. I think I'm happy with that. We'll see. All right, back to some brown and blue. Notice we're not cleaning the brush at all. We're just kind of continuing to add colors and mix them. Too worried about keeping the grain completely straight. What the topic of this will be when I get it done is basically from more ancient times. So it doesn't have to be. Add some more brown into this. Okay. Let's add a little bit of uh, burnt sienna, maybe. What is this? Yeah, or 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 open another two. Let's. Use some of this we got. The sienna add a little bit of warmth to this cool door.
We're adding, kind of adding the way we're kind of going about this. We're adding the base colors, low, the lower down color, the darker colors, lower value colors. First, with a little bit of linseed oil, which is also um, adding to the color underneath. And making the canvas a little bit slicker so we can blend the lower colors back in. And every so often we'll throw some a little bit of light colors in. It's a little too white, I think. If you're making a long pull across the canvas like that, it's always better to move your whole arm instead of just your hand, because if you move your hand, first of all your stroke's very short, but it's also going to give you like a kind of a wavy effect. So just use your whole arm. Just like that. Okay, let's see. Say, why did you bother to paint the canvas black? And the answer to that question is it actually really helps the colors kind of stand out. So, again, darkest color down first. And we're going to add some of this blue and some of this buff kind of color. And let the colors calm. I know it's Georgian paint, I just can't remember the name of the color. Still still left over from the palette just a couple days ago, so. Now I guess I won't really know until I get a little deeper into this painting. Whether this whole door edge Thing that I want to pull off is going to work. We'll just have to see. All right, let's blend all this up. Now we will come back and do one last blending toward the end. these colors. They're new colors to me and uh, some of them 
I just wanted to see how they might work on this. I've had kind of had this painting in my head for a little while, so you know, I thought I'd try to throw this up here at the same time. All right, let's add a little bit of Lindsay oil for that. I'm going to leave some of that black in there because I'm going to have to add some black back to the rest of the painting, I think, in other places, so we'll see. Now instead of painting on up the canvas, we'll paint down the canvas this time. It's a little too bright. We'll fix it in a second. That too is a little too bright, but we'll add some blue into that. Clean my brush. No, I'm not. Change I'm gonna take out a one-inch brush, and we're gonna blend this from the bottom up. Let me pop down. Now we're going to add, come back and add some black. Then we'll, then we'll blend it a little bit more. Alright, I'm going to take out... I'd like to use a large flat, but I, I, think, I don't think I have another one. Well, maybe this will work. I don't know. I think this is pretty stiff. Let's try it. So now we have paint on the canvas. We just want to come along here in different spots. Just add some strokes of black. Because when we start to add the black lines in here, That's enough for now, I think. I might come back and add some more in a minute. Alright, let's add our accent lines. I'm going to do that with this brush, maybe. Mm -hmm. Think about it for a second. Uh, I could use this. Tell you what, let's try it with this flat to start with and see how that works. So I got a really small flat. And what I'm about to do is just add the black lines for the door casing and the, the slots, slats in between the door. So let's just kind of go like 
Way about here. Switch the angle brush for just a second. I may stay with that brush, I don't know. This might be easier to do this way. It doesn't seem to be doing it either. So let's clean that out. We have to wait for this to dry. Hope not. Let's switch to a round brush with a little bit of linseed oil. Let's see if I can get that to work. I'm just resting my hand on the easel. I'm not trying to pull this completely straight, these lines. All right. Let me block your view here for a second. We'll see. harder at this height to rest your hand on the easel so let's turn it over and see what we can do Too much paint, too much slick paint on the canvas right now. So, I'll tell you what, before I do that, let's blend this a little bit. This line up here is the line I'm working on. It's not quite straight, but it's okay.
I don't think I can put it that way. <laughs> oh, great. Get myself in a bit. All right. This way. They put a nice even line in there. The question is, it's going to blend it out. Make it look good. It's a little wider in a couple places than I would have rather had it been, but it's okay. Okay, now we're getting back into some lines I can reach. Alright. So a lot of this is just kind of freehand. Landscape work. And let's just kind of drop for this video. Alright. One last touch here on a line or two. All right, let's add black in a couple more places now. That didn't stick. Let's try it again. for now. Okay. Alright, so now we want to put the door jam in. So, let's see. So the door jam is going to fit over the top of these. So let's just... Let's use this brush. Back to our colors. Okay. 
Now let's add our separator line. Now this is going to be a little different than putting those other lines in. The line's going to be a little wider. Hopefully a little straighter. So let's use Maybe we can use this filter to our advantage. Here we go. Let's add some, a couple extra things now. Um, let's, let's clean a couple brushes while I think about what kind of hinges I want to put on this thing, what kind of door handle we might put on this thing. Wood green it looks like it's doing pretty okay. I'm kind of liking that. Alright, let's see. So this is not actually the um focus of the painting, which this is all background actually. One thing that we're going to put on last, which I have no idea if I can even make it work, but we're going to find out. Alright. Okay, this looks pretty good. One more brush and then we'll get back to painting. Let's pan this one. All right, hinges. I don't really have a hinge preference, so let's kind of. I think we use we use black for this, but I mean I do have I mean I do have that that preference. So I don't have a shape. Presence. Preference. So let's put a dot, a black dot, and then like a hinge casing. I 
I'm painting on top of a lot of paint right now. And then another hinge thing that way. And then like... Let's just make it fairly easy. Let's just go. Now let's make it more like a strap. Let's do that. A lot of paint right here. Going down. Make a dot in a casing. Casing's a little wide, but it's okay. A lot of paint here. We want to leave these dots up where these bolts are in there. Then over here, let's make a little bit of Red. This is the part I'm like totally unsure about. So, there you go. If you ever want to paint a little doors, maybe we can do it. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm getting a lot of linseed oil to this. I'm going to draw it this way. And then purposely wanting to make this paint run. All right, and with that, I'm done, pretty much. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Plague Victim. Hope you guys enjoyed this painting. 
it's a different kind of a thing for me. But I enjoy doing it. I don't know what really one day I just came to my head and so I just wanted to do it. Anyway, hope you guys are having a great week. And we will be back to do some more here shortly. So keep an eye on the channel. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye.